What's good, EYTBC? What's good, Fight Fans, Boxing Heads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. So I'm out here, man, up and about, man, running a few errands, you know what I mean? And I ran across this article. The man, uh, Carlos Takam. Look like Carlos Takam is not going to be fighting Luis, Luis Ortiz after all, you know what I mean? Damn shame. Don't make no sense to me, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, the man is talking about he's going to have a fighter in uh, December, maybe early 2017. He's done a purse bid already for the, with the man, uh, uh, Johan Duhapas, another French man, you know what I mean? So, you know, the man, uh, Carlos Takam, looks like he's pulling out of the fight. He's talking about he wouldn't have enough time to prepare for the fight. Uh, when was that fight supposed to be? Sometime in November, right? Yeah, that was on short, uh, short notice, yeah, for both fighters, actually. Because we just, when I reported about this news, that was just a couple days ago. So I'm assuming both fighters were told about this, that particular fight on short notice. But Luis Ortiz is up for it, you know what I mean? Especially now that Luis Ortiz is with uh, Matchroom Boxing, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the man Luis Ortiz, man, he can't catch a break, man. Looks like nobody wants to fight this guy, man. And I'm going to officially call it a duck. I don't care what the man says, you know. I don't care what the man uh, Carlos Takam says, you know what I mean? And I was a man who roots for Carlos Takam, you know what I mean? I like Carlos Takam, you know. I thought he got a good effort uh, against um, uh, Joseph Parker, you know what I'm saying? I thought maybe when he fought Povetkin, Povetkin was on steroids. Yeah, I said it. Povetkin was on steroids in that fight, so I gave Takam a pass. And the fight against Mike Perez, you know what I mean? I thought the man Carlos Takam definitely won that fight. You dig what I'm saying? So now the man, um, they, they had a purse bid actually with Duhapis and, um, and Carlos Takam and, and Duhapis team, they won the purse bid and they getting the 65, 65, they, the purse bid was 65-35. They get, the uh, Duhapis team's getting 65% of the lion's share. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what it do, man. That fight's supposed to be happening sometime in December. I think uh, Carlos Takam, you know, hey, Fighting Joseph Parker and then Luis Ortiz back to back, that's a tough, that's tough, you know what I'm saying? That's tough for any fighter, you know, any heavyweight on the planet. But the man, hey, they signed up for it, so initially the man agreed to it, but I guess he seen that there's a better opportunity with uh, fighting for, I think, Du Hoppers holds a WBC Silver heavyweight title, you know what I mean? So we shall see, we shall see. I think the man, Johan Du Hoppers, is a guy who gave excuse me, gave Deontay Wilder a great fight. One of the best fights I ever seen on PBC. He definitely tested the man, uh, Deontay Wilder. You dig what I'm saying? So we shall see, man. We shall see what it do with the man, uh, Carlos Takam. I, we don't know now who Luis Ortiz will fight on, on that November 12th card out there. And, um, is it even November 12th? I know it's in November. Yeah, I think November 12th. We'll see what it do with him in November 12th, who his opponent will be. It might be a pancake and that he's going to flatten. Uh, you know, a guy, you know, I doubt he's going to get a, 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 a great caliber fighter, you know, an A-class fighter. I doubt he'll get an A-class fighter on short notice, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody wants to fight the man, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comment section what you think about Carlos Takam ducking the man, uh, Luis Ortiz, talking about he wants to fight Duhapas. You know, it's, they both Frenchmen, yeah. You know, maybe, maybe they're fighting for basically, you know, um, the heavyweight reign of France, you know what I mean? But look, this man would have fought Carlos Ortiz, Luis Ortiz, excuse me, in Monaco, you know? Hey, I think that would have been a better, been a better fight, but like I said, it's a tough back-to-back -back fight going against Joseph Parker than going against and um, going ahead and fighting the man, Luis Ortiz. So let me know in the comment section what you think. And this is B Marsh Boxing. Thanks for listening. And uh, if you think Carlos Takam is ducking, man, hit that thumbs up. B Marsh Boxing. Thanks for listening. One.